Hey guys, what's up? Um, I have a nice, interesting little tutorial for you guys today. Um, I actually have this uh, quick little sketch just, just as a model, just for what we're going to be doing today. But um, I wanted to say uh, thank you to all of the new subscribers, because we are still getting subscribers, which is awesome. So I'm <laughs> really thankful for that. But um, this tutorial, what we're going to start off with first is I'm actually going to hide this because I want to show you how we can apply something, what we're about to do. I'm going to show you how we can apply it to this drawing um, later. So real quick, this isn't going to be a very long tutorial. At least <laughs> I don't think it will be. It shouldn't be. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is create a new layer, uh, get your pencil tool, and um, select black, and come up over here. Hopefully you can see that. I think you can. You can see all that stuff up there. Anyway, you're going to come right over here and uh, we're going to select this tool right here. And let's see. Let's make it about right there. So I want to show you guys something. Whoops. There we go. I don't know how well you can see that, but it should. There you go. You can see that. You should be able to see that perfectly fine. Okay, what I want to do though is move it. I like to move it. <laughs> okay. So we have our circle right here, and I want now what I want to do is I want to show you something that's very very important, and this helps a lot with being able to put volume into your drawings as far as making the object. Well, you guys know what volume is, but <laughs> anyway, just for the sake of explaining, just um, let me see. I'm trying to think of something an example. Uh, okay, for instance, like this rock right here. Um, you can see it obviously it doesn't look flat, so it has volume to it, like there's uh, curves and edges and all that stuff. So that's kind of what we're going to talk about right now, but we're going to start off with just this little circle. Okay, so let me create a new layer so I can draw. You, you don't have to do this because I'm just doing this to um, as a demonstration. So this is going to be very simple. So let me see. Whoa, that is humongous. <laughs> okay. So, when you're drawing and you're planning on doing like lighting and stuff, I've talked about this before, but let's say your light source is coming from, oops, from up here, okay? So we'll just put an L. Oh, it looks like, a, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so this is where our light source is supposed to be hitting, okay? So, there's something that's very important. One, you want to have uh, a spot, let's see, a spot right here. Well, actually, we could break this up into different little group area so this spot right here is where the light is hitting the hardest um so you want to put maybe like uh i mean you don't have to do this i'm just putting this just so you guys can see so we'll put fl here for like full light uh here we'll put a uh we'll put m for like kind of medium uh we'll put this is just the way i do it too I mean, this is a real technique, but as far as, like, the names and stuff, like, uh, full light, medium, there's other names and stuff, but it, it's all the same thing. Um, so here we can put FM, uh, kind of like fade medium or whatever, and then over here we can actually put, uh, well, here, let's do this so we don't run out. Uh, let's put a D here. Okay, for dark. Okay, so these are some of the main things that you want to remember when you're drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how they work. So I'm going to fade this layer, but we're going to do everything according to what was actually done. So and we may not get to this other extra part. I might break the video up into two pieces. Not two pieces, but two parts. Okay, so I just faded that down. Well, let me turn it back up so you guys can see it a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new layer, and we're actually, <coughs> we're going to start from um, the darkest and work our way up to, towards the light. And you're going to see by the end of this video um, how this makes, <laughs> it makes a really big difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab um, black, and you know what, actually we don't have to use black. Let's, 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 get, let's get a really dark like burgundy color. Because I think we can make we'll make this ball red. Okay, and let me make sure I put this layer behind that one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do 
is, mind you, we're starting to draw on the uh, our darkest half of the circle. So all I'm going to do, whoops, <laughs> all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start just kind of brushing it. And don't worry, I guess, if we go out because it's super easy to clean that up. Okay. So that's all we're going to do. Then we're going to come up over here and we're going to move our uh, our color picker. We're going to move it up a little bit brighter. I guess we don't have to adjust that. Now, don't worry if it looks like the, the colors change like super hard because you're always going to be able to go back and blend them in. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to keep going up. And we'll definitely, we'll, we'll, we'll blend those all together, so don't worry. Okay, and we're going to go up again. As you can see, that's it's starting to get brighter. Okay, and then up one more time. About right there. And Okay, just like so. Now, that other layer that we put there the first time with that I was writing on, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so you can see the different values that come into play. And uh, like I said, we can always go back and we can blend these together, which is really easy. So if I select this right here, and yeah, okay, I already have that. So we can darken this or we can lighten it up a little bit and we're just going to lighten it just a little hope you guys can see that but it's slowly blending together oops and grab that Okay, so, I mean, you can get it perfect if you want. I'm just kind of showing you the just kind of basic little steps about going to, or, you know, doing it. So, there's that way you can do it. And then also, too, we may have went just a tad bit. Well, here, let me see. Yeah. I kind of think this looks a little bit better. So... Just blend it a little bit more. Okay, so you can see that. Like again, like I said, don't worry about all of that around there because you could easily clean that up. But now, what I want to show you is something that's, well, yeah, it's important. <laughs> uh, and I was drawing on the wrong layer, but oh well, it doesn't matter. We can merge those, merge those two. And now, what I want to show you is let's grab white completely. And make sure we have a new layer. Let's drop the opacity just a little bit. And we're going to put some reflection. Well, almost in just a second. We're going to put this. Remember, I said now that is this side over here is where the light is hitting the hardest. That looks really strong to, for you guys. Uh, let me see if I can drop it down more because I don't want it to disappear. Okay, I hope you can see that. It's just, this camera is just, it's really fading things out, so it's hard to kind of see that. But anyway, um, so that's where the light is hitting the hardest. You know what, maybe I should change the, uh, change the background. But uh, anyway, we're going to merge that. Okay. So, let's now make sure we have white again. New layer, yes. And our airbrush tool. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a big spot to where that light is actually hitting. Like so, like right there. And then we could even put some reflected light or just a really hard, sharp, sharp corner right here. Just like so. Okay, and then we're going to merge that together. And now we're going to grab black because we're going to kind of merge uh, or blend everything together even, even better. So let's drop this to about right here. And let's zoom out a little bit. Just like so. Okay, and now we're going to, let's see, maybe not that dark, about right there. Let's merge that and let's do it again. Okay. Now don't worry that this one's really dark because I'm about to lighten it up. Okay, so about right there. So as you can see, our ball doesn't look <laughs> so two-dimensional anymore. And what I want to do now, though, is I want to clean up those edges real quick because now they're starting to irritate me. <laughs> okay, so just clean those up. But the reason why I was showing... Well, you guys know now, but I was showing that little system... Just so you guys can have a better understanding of why it's important to pick where your light tones are and your dark tones and all that stuff. So you, uh, when you're doing something that's supposed to be more like three-dimensional looking, um, you kind of know where the placement of everything should go. So this is a very simple tutorial, but at the same time, it's still, it's very important, you know. So... Also, too, you see how the line is kind of fading off. Uh, it might be harder for you guys to see it. There you go. But you actually can, uh, because if light's hitting really hard, depend, depending on what type of lighting you're going for, but you actually can burn that black line off a little bit more and fade it out. We just burn it out just a little bit more, just where the light is hitting the hardest. You know? So we could do that. And then also, too... We can shave it down just a little bit because it's just it's really thick. And I actually had meant to get rid of the, the line uh, originally in, this, in the start of this video, but I accidentally, I, I told you guys I mess up sometimes, but I accidentally merged it or was drawing on the wrong layer. <laughs> so, but it's okay because we could just clean it up just enough. Also, too, I, one of the tutorials that I plan on doing really soon is actually showing you guys about, um, <laughs> uh, is about, uh, weight, like, uh, the line, like the heaviness of weight, uh, not the heaviness, sorry, the, um, well, yeah, the, the, the heaviness of lines, like showing how you can make an object look, look, uh, heavy based on the way you draw the lines, which is, it's actually really cool the way it works. But, um, okay, so let's see. Okay, so there we go. So now we have our ball, and, yeah, I really wish I hadn't merged all that together, but regardless. Anyway, the whole point of this was just so you can kind of see how colors blend. So see, now this looks more like it's going around. And again, like I was saying, based on the lighting, uh, it... It depends, but based on the light, you can make this really dark, or it's kind of, this is just kind of mid-tone right now. So, for instance, if this was like a ball sitting on a wooden table, and it had a spotlight on it, you probably would want to make this way darker than what it is. So, the last thing I'm going to do is, um, and 
Oh my gosh, we're at 14 minutes. <laughs> um, so the last thing I want to do is we're going to just create a shadow for this ball really quick. And make sure the, um, that layer is underneath. <coughs> Excuse me. Make sure that uh, our new layer is going to be underneath the ball. So now we're going to just, let's see. I probably should have made that a little bit thinner. So I'm just doing all this as an example. So this this shadow is not going to be like super perfect.